this down. First thing you're gonna do is put your index finger on the first string, or the sixth string. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So sixth string on the fifth fret, which is your A note. And the next thing you can do is take your second finger and put it on the uh, E note on the seventh uh, fret on the fifth string. So what you're gonna get is this. That kind of sound. And what we want to do is that we're gonna we're gonna not call this out. This this one on the seventh fret, we're gonna leave that, that alone. We're gonna we're gonna what we're gonna how we're gonna learn this is we're gonna use the five, the nine, and the ten, and the nine. And that's gonna be uh, the ninth fret on your fifth string, the tenth fret on your um, fifth string, and back and forth. This is how we're gonna call it. Five, nine, ten, nine. Here we go. Go with me real slow. See if you can get this in your in position. So we got five, that's this one. Nine, ten, nine. Five, nine, ten, nine. Five, nine, ten, nine. Five. And then we're gonna go from there to the seventh fret, which is your B chord, power chord. And then one is a C. And then one more is a C sharp. And then one more is your D. So let's do what we got so far. And then what you can do, we'll go ahead and we'll, I'll tell you that last. Next thing, when you get to this D, you're going to be the same pattern. So here's your, remember, we're not going to be calling this one out. This is going to be your 10. Uh, 14, 15. So 10, 14, 15, 14. 10, 14, 15, 14. Now we're going back to the fifth, uh, the five right here, uh, the, the A chord, and it's going to be five, nine, 10, nine, five, nine, 10, nine. And now we're going up to the 12th fret, which is your E chord, that and we're going to be doing the same exact pattern. This is going to be on the 12, uh, 16, 17, 16, just one time. And then back to the D chord. And that's going to be 10, 14, 15, 14. And then we're going back to the A. And that's 5, 9, 10, 9. And then, uh, uh, and then this right here. And that's it. So that chord is basically an E, uh, F, F7 to an E7. And let's show you how to do that. There's, remember your D7, the cowboy chord? If you'll move this string up one, this one up one, and that one up one, that gives you an A major seven. And if you move it up one more, each string, each, each finger up one string, you're gonna get an E7 down there. So what you wanna do is slide it up, to the um to your second finger is on the uh eighth fret and you that's your e7 or f7 and then you slide it back one there's your e7 um let me go ahead and play through this real slow and then i'm gonna give you a couple of uh pointers on how to how to make this move along better um do it i'll do it just a tad faster about this are going to be that stretch right here. it's a big stretch you can do it my hands aren't too big but if you got medium size hands you're fine even small hands you can do this so let me go ahead and do this with this kind of sound do that with me and we're going to apply that to the whole riff we just did here we go Now that 
those kind of muted strings. You can do it without the mute like this. And so on. Um, now, that's gonna be pretty much it on the tutorial. What I wanna do is take you to first position and do the same exact thing. And we're gonna do some close-ups on, on what I'm doing here. And I won't have to tell you what to do because after you learn this, this riff, you're gonna know what to do in first position. So here we go. close you'll be able to do this just back you know slide the um, the video back and just watch close and you'll catch this the hardest part is that stretch from on the fifth fifth fret but it's not that hard once you get this under your belt you'll use it in tons and tons of songs from rock and roll songs to blues to country blues all kinds of stuff it'll be very beneficial for you to learn so uh god bless y'all we'll see you next time